Hey guys, it's uh, Simon from JWS Reviews here. I'm uh, here to review the Moneys app for Mac. In order to use this app, you need at least 10.6.7 or later, I guess, in order to get the, uh, the Mac App Store. So when you click the App Store, um, you'll find that it's rated number four in the top paid finance. It's just there. The app itself costs uh, 69 pence, and uh, it's great value for money, really, because it's just a very simple uh, method of keeping track of your finances. As you can see in this, he uses um, a currency called Lay, so you can that just shows that you can change the currencies. It doesn't just use pounds or Lay or whatever. So uh, we'll open the app now. As you can see, it's it's quite simple to use. I've just done this as a quick sort of uh, just to show you guys how how it's done. So if you click this little bit here. It opens up this side, which you can add expenses and income. So I would say, if I was to add one, say I had an income, like birthday money, that would be an income. So I'd have to tick that, so it's not on, because it's not an expense, it's an income. So now that's all sorted, I can close that window, and I add it here. It's birthday money, so, um, grandmother. My grandma gave me £50 this year. She's kind of tight, so you know. Alright, so then it changes my total incomes automatically. Now, one thing with this app, it doesn't update the balance. Um, it, it just doesn't update the balance automatically, so you have to click there and it will refresh itself with the, the new date and everything. So my new balance is £45 because I've got an income of 50 and an expense of 5 So that's it's very simple to use. I've just done that in, in about 30 seconds, so... Obviously, have more incomes and outputs, and you know, it'd take longer, but it's not too bad. If you click reports up here, it gives you a uh, month by month overview of all your spending. Uh, it, it shows you a massive pie chart there with a. It just, it just, it's just an overview of all your incomes and outputs. So as you can see, birthday money, which I've just added, is um, an income. So it's that light green section there, or olive green, I guess it might be. I'm not really sure, but um. You can see in comparison to the rest of my incomes and outcomes, it's quite it's a fairly large chunk. Uh, if you click this little next button down here, it shows you as a yearly basis, as a, a yearly overview. So if you use this app for more than just one month like me, then it'll show you it'll it just give you a better overview of the entire year. Um my only discrepancies with this app is that you can't use more than one account. As in, you can't have a current account and a savings account in it unless you want to uh, put all your money together, I guess. But if you want to keep them separate, you're best off using something else. But uh, other than that, it's a, it's a very good app for what it's worth. And uh, to save it, you just click uh, File, Save, and then automatically saves it. So you just open it again, and it's got all my things ready to go. Don't have to open anything. doesn't save it to the... Uh, desktop or anything so it's, it's quite it's clever like that really uh, so uh, this has been my review of the money's app for mac i hope you've enjoyed it and uh subscribe for more